Madrid says its plan to stop Catalan secession could include removing its leader, Carles Puigdemont. Well, joining us now to discuss the political crisis in Catalonia is Luis Arroyo. He's the former political advisor to the former Spanish Prime Minister, Jose Zapatero. Thank you for joining us on TRT World. So Catalonia's government says it's going to fight to stop Spain from stripping the region of its autonomy. What can we expect to happen? Uh, well, nobody really knows what we can expect, but uh, everybody agrees in that lots of tension, of tension is going to come in the next uh, weeks. Uh, uh, right now, it doesn't seem uh, likely at all that the uh, uh, regional government of Catalonia accepts the uh, intervention of the of the uh, autonomy by the uh, Spanish government. Uh, so uh, they will probably declare the independence on probably on Thursday or Friday. Uh, the uh, Spanish government will very likely apply an article of the Spanish constitution, the 100, uh, 155 uh, article that says that in, in, in times of crisis, the government can intervene the, uh, any autonomous government of the regions. Uh, so nobody really knows, but what, what, what seems to happen is that lots of uh, tension are going to come in, in the next uh, weeks, no doubt. Indeed, and how much of the crisis then do you think is down to the Spanish government's handling of the situation? The government that you worked for agreed for greater autonomy for Catalonia, didn't it? And then that was annulled in 2010. Did that increase the desire for independence? Well, it was during the government of Zapatero uh, when, when the uh, autonomy of Catalonia, when the government of Catalonia they started to ask for um, more com uh, competences, more powers in terms of uh, the economy, in terms of the respect for the language, for the education, etc. And it seems that neither the uh, government of Zapatero nor the government, the conservative government of the PP afterwards, uh, they were able to, uh, to probably to offer what the uh, government of Catalonia was asking for. But remember that there are two very important facts uh, in the actual situation, in the current situation in Catalonia and Spain. First, that it, it, mm, mm, there is not a real majority of Catalonians that want the independence. There's, there are some uh, discrepancies between figures, but probably not, not more than 45, uh, uh, at the most, 45 percent of the uh, Catalonian population really want the independence and also the independence, and also that the actual uh, current government in Catalonia is quite is quite divided uh, between the what we can call the uh, hawks and the pigeons with regard to independence. So uh, the thing is that no one really has the power, nor the Spanish government, nor the government of Catalonia, to impose a solution to the actual situation. That, that is what's, what's happening in the last, uh, I would say, in the last 10 years in which, uh, in, in which a fight between those, those two powers is some place. 